Yeah, but that is okay. Let's just go with that. Nico Brew. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep with that. Uh, so I was raised <laughs> I was raised in the only Jewish household that had no humor. Oh yeah, it's weird. We didn't joke around with each other. Our only roasts were briskets. <laughs> we, didn't even, we didn't even really use sarcasm. Yeah, no sarcasm. That was super fun. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, folks. I'm working on sarcasm still. I'm working. On, I'm going to find it, though. I'm going to find that if I've got to wander this land for 40 more years, that's another Jew joke we want. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Here's what we did have, though. Here's what we did have. We had lots of passive aggression. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. But uh, I would have thought you'd have known that by now. <laughs> if you uh, cared. Uh, cared. Uh, the other day, I was chatting on Facebook Messenger with this dude, and he's like, hey, Nico, do you want to just hang out in a Zoom? I was like, yeah, <laughs> sure. Who's got a Zoom hang going? We're doing all these group Zoom hangs, you know? He's like, no, no. I mean, just me and you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Appropriate response, Court. Appropriate response, right? There. Like, dude, like, dude, we just met. We just met, and uh, that was on a Zoom open mic like three days ago. <laughs> yeah. Oh. And I get it. I get it. In COVID times, that's exactly. Let's see, four point two six trillion days. You know, when you carry the one, yeah. but I kind of feel like that'd be zooming to the zoom level of our relationship. You know, also, also look, I'm straight and happily married. And yeah, sometimes those go together. <laughs> yeah. But I didn't say these things. I didn't say these things folks. Cause I am only an asshole on the inside. Oh, yeah. it counts. Where it counts. <laughs> I was like, sure, let's hang out in a Zoom. Why not? Let's hang out in a Zoom. Just me and him. We actually had a really good time, folks. We we shared some really funny stories, discussed some really interesting topics on this weird but completely platonic internet date. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then I realized that's what a podcast is. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just an internet date with a theme. <laughs> and that theme, that theme could actually be having no theme. Oh, I'm sorry. Q and A. Yeah. <laughs> then it's like, uh, where do you want to hang out? You know, my podcast or your podcast, my place, your place. <laughs> well, let's face it, folks. Let's face it. Even if you don't have a place, you probably still have a podcast. <laughs> oh. yeah. I'm saying is book me on your themed internet dates because I'm a good time. <laughs> <laughs> the other day I sat on a tall wooden chair. It's going to be a very exciting three and a half more minutes, folks. Uh, yeah. The other day I sat on a tall wooden chair, but it didn't have any armrests. It didn't have any backrests. Like overall, it was actually pretty, pretty uncomfortable. It was uncomfortable. Uh, but I found a solution. I put a pillow on top, put a pillow on it, helped out quite a bit. Turned out it uh, just needed a stool softener. Mm -hmm. uh... <laughs> you know, I'll take the groans. I'll take the groans. You know, if you don't laugh at that, that's fine. That's fine. That was a numb ass joke. That was a numb ass. <laughs> <laughs> but I like it. I like it. I think it's got legs. It's got legs. <laughs> I'm glad, uh, you know, I'm glad I did that tonight. I'm glad I did this one tonight. I just been sitting on it for a while, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm keeping it. I think it's solid. That's solid. Uh, <laughs> I think volleyball was invented for people who just don't know how to catch. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, uh, basketballs are too heavy. Uh, they're too light. What do I do? Mm. Then to make it official, they did this. It's kind of hard to do this one on Zoom. To make it official, they just went to a tennis court and they grabbed onto the net and they just went, go! <laughs> <laughs> then eventually this person was replaced by some pulse. They became very tired. I think that's what happened. 
I think that's what happened. <laughs> I got busted in high school for selling weed. Yeah. Because you're not supposed to do that there. <laughs> they really frown upon it, which was a bummer because I was just trying to turn frowns upside down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you know, but look, I made the same mistake that a lot of passionate people make. And I just ruined my favorite hobby by turning it into a job. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe some comedians can relate. Some comedians can relate. Uh, the job I obviously wasn't very good at. I mean, I got busted. But look, I tripped <laughs> myself up too much. I was 15. I didn't know a lot about business. I just knew that I was supposed to buy low and sell high. Yeah. <laughs> She took that a little too literally, you know? <laughs> I was the only Jew in juvenile hall. <laughs> yeah, I put the Jew in juvie. <laughs> Got out way sooner than I was supposed to. My parents hired a really good Jewish lawyer. It was nice. Yeah. He went up yeah. to the judge. He went up to the judge and he said, let my people go. <laughs> and they did they're like three years nah mm. like three weeks Malatablachayim. yay woo, you're free <laughs> speaking of free folks you are free from having to listen to you uh, anymore you've been super fun got sarcasm yay woo thanks so much woo <laughs> <laughs>